Hi everyone, I'm Rachi. I'm a researcher at Microsoft. And today I'm going to talk about cost-effective traffic engineering at the cloud edge. This work is in collaboration with my colleagues at Microsoft, Sharad, Matt, and Victor. In this work, our goal is to reduce the inter-domain bandwidth costs incurred by a cloud provider. I'll first explain what I mean by inter-domain bandwidth. Here on this slide, I have the edge router of a cloud wide area network connecting with the edge router of its BGP peer. Interdomain traffic from the cloud is the traffic that is exchanged between the cloud and its BGP peers. This exchange is bidirectional, both inbound and outbound. I will represent the inbound and outbound utilization of the peer link over time as X in of T and X out of T. Let's see what X out of T might look like. Here on the X axis, I have all five minute intervals in one month and the Y axis has the outbound utilizations of the peer link. These vertical bars represent the link's utilization in five minute time intervals. In the industry standard billing scheme on the internet, top 5% utilizations in a given month are free. So the amount that this link is billed at or its billable bandwidth is the maximum of the inbound or outbound 95th percentile utilization. The money that exchanges hands in this billing scheme is the product of the billable bandwidth and the peering rate of the link. Legal contracts are signed between the cloud network and the peers to resolve this peering rate. Overall, the annual cost of interdomain bandwidth runs in tens of millions of dollars for a cloud provider. Over time, traffic demands from the cloud have risen exponentially. Specifically, as the pandemic hit and work from home orders were issued, demands from cloud networks saw a significant increase. This has led to a 40% increase in interdomain bandwidth costs in March 2020 alone. So here's our proposal. We want to leverage cloud edge traffic engineering to minimize the cost of interdomain bandwidth of cloud providers. I'll quickly clarify the terminology here. By edge traffic engineering, I mean the process of allocating traffic to peer links between the cloud and other networks on the internet. If you recall this graph from the previous slide, edge traffic engineering would basically influence the height of the bars in this graph of link utilizations. But optimizing bandwidth costs of the cloud network is a hard problem. There are several reasons for this. The first is that the percentile billing function is nonlinear. In fact, I'll show you in a couple of slides that this optimization problem is a mixed integer linear program, which is NP-hard. In addition to this, the scale of this optimization is huge. There are several thousand peer links between the cloud and other networks on the internet. The overall cost that we're trying to minimize is the sum of the cost of all of these individual links. On top of this, demands at the edge of the cloud change rapidly. So the allocations have to be made over five minute time intervals, but billing occurs at the end of the month. So edge traffic engineering has to allocate traffic at short time scales and hope that by the end of the month, the cost of these allocations is minimized. I hope I have convinced you that this is a hard problem. The good news is that we can derive empirical insights from the cloud network to simplify this task. For context, on the top of the slide, I'm showing the billable bandwidth function for any peer link. And N is the number of peer links from the cloud. We analyze three aspects of the operation of the cloud wide area network that can help us simplify the task of reducing bandwidth costs. First, we analyze IP fix flow records gathered at the cloud edge. These flow records show the present day traffic allocations on peer links. Second, we analyze the routes announced by peers to all edge routers of the cloud 
using BMP route collectors. And finally, we analyze peering agreements between the cloud and its BGP peers to find the negotiated peering rates. Using these three sources of data from the production network, we find that outbound traffic from the cloud is twice the inbound traffic in volume. What this means is I can simplify my objective function to just consider outbound allocations on peer links. The second finding is that bulk of the traffic exchanged by the cloud provider at the edge is with transit or access ISPs. What this means is that now I can reduce the scale of my problem by only optimizing allocations to transit or access ISPs. And finally, we find that of these transit and access ISPs, only three contribute the majority of interdomain bandwidth costs incurred by the cloud provider. What this means is that now in place of working with hundreds of links, I just need to optimize the allocations to a few tens of peer links to save most of the bandwidth costs. So we can solve a much smaller optimization problem by leveraging these empirical insights. After reducing the scale of the problem, we want to know what is the best possible bandwidth cost saving. In the best case scenario, traffic engineering would have perfect hindsight, meaning it has demands for the entire billing month in advance to find the cost optimal allocations. This kind of problem where we assume perfect hindsight is called an offline problem. We formulate and solve the offline version of the edge traffic engineering problem that computes outbound allocations in five minute windows of a month to peer links with the three ISPs that contribute majority of the cost. I know that we don't have time to go over the optimization formulation, but I wanna give you the intuition for it. As we discussed, our cost function is a 95th percentile utilization of links. To optimize this cost function, the algorithm has to make two decisions here. First, we want to identify which five minute intervals will be free in the month. In these intervals, the link can have a high utilization that will not contribute to the cost. And second, we want to allocate the remaining 95% intervals so that the maximum of those intervals is minimized. But these two decisions of picking the free intervals and allocating to the remaining intervals depend on each other and on the underlying traffic demands in the network. This is all I will say for now to motivate our formulation of the cost minimization into a mixed integer linear program that was solvable in reasonable running time due to the reduced scale of the problem. At a high level, our objective was cost minimization at the edge. The inputs here were demands and link costs. We constrain the algorithm to respect the link capacities and meet all demands no matter what. And the outputs of this algorithm were outbound traffic allocations on peer links. We implemented this algorithm and evaluated it on historical traffic demands from a large commercial cloud network. And here's what we find. On the x-axis, I have the 12 monthly billing cycles, so over one year of traffic demands. And on the y-axis, I'm showing the cost savings enabled by the offline traffic engineering algorithm. As you can see, Consistently, there is a potential to save over 55% of bandwidth costs. So the offline optimal allocations in the previous slide show that there's a significant opportunity to save costs. The challenge, however, is that while cost optimal allocations are possible, these allocations can cause traffic to egress at peer links that increase the latency observed by clients. We don't want that. We don't want cost optimization to degrade client performance. It turns out that recent investments in cloud peering infrastructure have enabled a way to navigate the cost versus latency challenge here. Over the last few years, cloud networks have aggressively deployed points of presence in several parts of the world to be closer to the clients they serve. 
What this means is that often to reach the same client on the internet, there are several latency equivalent peer links from the cloud. These links offer similar latency to clients on the internet, and thus we use groups of latency equivalent links for optimizing outbound traffic allocations. Within such a group of links, shifting outbound traffic for cost optimality does not impact client latency significantly. I'll bring all of these ideas together to highlight the final and key contribution of this work. We develop an edge traffic engineering controller, Cascara. This controller implements the online algorithm for minimizing interdomain bandwidth costs. We evaluate the online solutions and show that Cascara can reduce the cost of bandwidth by up to 50% per point of presence. More importantly, Cascara optimizes traffic costs within a group of latency equivalent links and thus bounds the impact of cost optimal allocations by three milliseconds in the worst case. And finally, since operational safety of such a solution is key, we incorporate several safety checks into Cascara. For more details on our implementation, code, measurements, please check out our paper. Thanks, and I'll be happy to take your questions.